I just wanted to make this real quick video regarding the uh, best way I found to uh, quickly and efficiently do the water pump and pulley on an AE8216 Corolla front wheel drive. Um, I have not really seen anybody else document this or at least provide the best way to do this so through me struggling to do this for a few hours I have found the best way to do it. Um, so I'm going to show you guys that. The first thing you're going to want to do is get that first uh, passenger side motor mount loose. It is two 14 millimeter bolts. You just zip them out straight. They shouldn't have any resistance there. They easily come out. Um, you want to get the engine loose and down all the way as much as possible to make it easier to have more room between that gap to move things around in. And that is going to be two 14 millimeter bolts. The next thing you're going to do is to take the three 14 millimeter bolts out of the uh, motor mount on the engine block side. It's very easy to do once you get everything out of the way. Seriously, three 14 millimeter bolts. Take three of them out. The thing will drop down once it is disconnected from the other bracket there. Um, here's what that mount looks like out of the car. Um, here are the three bolts for that as well. So yeah, those three bolts there, those two bolts there. With the engine completely loose on this side, you'll have enough room to uh, move the water pump in and out with the pulley disattached, and I'll show you guys um, me fighting that just to prove that it's possible and the best angle to do it. I will also mention you don't necessarily need a lift to do this. Um, if you do it in your garage on jack stands, I just recommend getting some sort of jack, a floor jack below the oil pump so you can jack the engine back up so the uh, mount is able to go up into the bolt so you can get them started on that motor mount there. Otherwise, they'd be struggling trying to push the engine up to get those reattached. It's just a bit easier that way. Okay, so getting the water pump out, you just move it, push it to the right, wiggle it a bunch, and then turn it um, counterclockwise, and then that will pull out just like that. I have the pulley loose, there's only four like 10 millimeter bolts that hold the pulley in. So, putting it in, get your pump here, you want to get this longer portion. Um, facing up, up towards the top of the engine, kind of curve it in there, angle it towards you like that, get your pulley, kind of press it on there a little bit, um, then you kind of want to angle it back up towards the block, and then wiggle it up and up, and then you want to turn it clockwise, kind of wiggle it around, should oof, start to make its way into the pump housing area. I don't know why they ever designed this car like this. This is kind of the way things are. Okay, so you wanna... okay. Okay. I don't know if you saw, but I just kind of kept wiggling it, kind of pulling in different directions. And there it goes, right where it needs to be. The tricky part is definitely going to be. Um, getting the gasket and gasket maker in place, but um, make sure everything's clean and dry. Try not to get that pump to touch anything greasy, and um, honestly, should be a breeze. And then I recommend um, putting the pump in, bolting it down and everything first, and then putting your motor mount back in. Um, the belt in first, timing belt first, then the motor mount in, bolting everything back up, and then um, yeah, you should be good to go there. But that's just how you uh, do the water pump in one of these things.